Readings from Ghost, Ghouls, and Other Horrors, Episode 5, The Headless Woman. On the side of a luxury apartment building facing Central Park on New York's Upper Fifth Avenue, there once stood a palatial townhouse built shortly after the Civil War. After being unoccupied for many years, it was purchased by an eccentric Englishman whose loud and lavish parties scandalized the neighborhood during the 1930s. A particular source of annoyance to the neighbors was his habit of frequently running out onto the street after midnight screaming, She's back! She's back! No one paid particular attention to this in the beginning, but after some time, several people determined to investigate, fearing that the man was insane. When they called on him, not only were they treated most cordially, they were given a direct explanation. In the master bedroom, said the owner of the house, was a large wood-burning fireplace. He took them upstairs and showed them the room. Frequently, he explained the figure of a headless woman carrying an infant in her arms rose up from the hearth and woke him from his sleep. He apologized for disturbing them when this happened, but declared that on occasion he was so startled that he couldn't help his overreaction. More convinced than ever that their neighbor was either a madman or a heavy drinker, the delegation hastily withdrew and gave the matter up as a lost cause. In the early 1960s, the house was demolished to make way for the apartment building that now stands there. When the demolition men were dismantling the fireplace of the master bedroom, they discovered a large box directly beneath the hearth. In it was the skeleton of a woman from which, he from which the head had been severed. Beside it, wrapped in a lace trim pillowcase of linen, were the bones of an infant. The dress on the skeleton was in a remarkable state of preservation and bore the label of a fashionable store of the 1870s. The unfortunate woman had probably been killed very suddenly, for a scissors attached to a ribbon was beside her, and near one of the bony fingers was a small silver thimble. Thank you.